all right it's been a while welcome back to another free code camp project tutorial this time we're going to be helping you wait say we wait, anyway i'm going to be helping you guys with the palindrome checker project which is one of the projects needed in order to get the certificate for javascript on free code camp the javascript algorithms and data structures certificate so yeah we're going to do it it's a challenging project especially for a beginner but i'm gonna help you with it so i've done it i passed it here it is right here what you do is that you type in a palindrome so like mom you check it say is a palindrome if it's one letter you should do the same thing but if it's like lop then it would say not a palindrome so just to show you that it works here's the javascript a quick preview of it we're going to be working with today and then if we run as you can see it passes so yeah i passed it so now i'm gonna help you guys pass it as well all right so what we're going to do first is that we need to ensure that we have html so you need html in this project you don't need css that's optional so if you want to style it i'll leave you to that so free cocam says they want it to look something like this it doesn't matter how it looks though what matters the most is that it's functional and it passes the tests which are mostly just html and javascript based so to get started what you guys going to do is that you can go in the link in the description of a github repository with the full project so you can go into like the index html copy it and yeah just copy this we need this in order to pass a few of the tests which would be you should have an input with an element of id with an l with an id of text input you need to have a button with an id of check button and a div with an id of result yeah that's really it and then you would add your script tag all right so you can pause the video copy the html line by line because we're just going to focus on the javascript the javascript is pretty hard so just copy the html line by line you should know html already and once you're done with that or copying it from the github repository then let's head on to the javascript so when you're done with html you should have this right here just this blank input text with a button so i'm gonna close that all right let's get on to the javascript now so first thing we're gonna do is we're going to add a few variables we're gonna add i'm gonna create some variables in order to get the elements these three elements which should be the input field the button and the div so this would be the three elements let me close this up a bit make it easier to see so this would be the three um variables so let text input equal get element by id text input check button equal dot result equal that so we need those because we're going to need the value of them we're going to need the value of the input when you need the button to create the event when you click on it it checks if what's inside the input field is a palindrome and then the result just displays the result whether it's a palindrome or not all right so once that's done we're going to create a function now so function palindrome just like that so i'm going to create a function and then right at the top you can also put it below the function, whatever you choose. I'm going to say check vpn dot add event listener, and then when we add click, comma, and then the name of the function, which is plain show semicolon. All right, that's all we need. So what this does is that when you click the button, it's going to execute this function right here. Function is empty right now, so I'm going to add some stuff to it. All right, first things first. First things first is that one of the tests is that when you click on the check button element without entering a value into the text input, an alert should appear with the text, please input a value. So let's do that right now in the function. So I have the function right here. We're gonna say if text input dot value equal Two equal signs by the way you can put three i think as well but i put two curly braces and inside that block i'm going to say alert and then please input a 
value semicolon so that's what should happen so when we click on it it should it should give us um let me see yeah right just like that please input a value so if you run the test run the first four tests so the rest of them you basically um basically just have to create the logic for the checker pulling drum checker basically all right so now we're going to create the logic for the palindrome checker. So what I want to do now is that I want to create a next variable because what happens is that if we get, let's say, one of the tests you need to pass is that whenever you add a letter or, you know what I mean? If you add a, a, a word, letter, whatever, sentence, it may have commas, white spaces, full stops. We want to, we want to check we want to check the value without without the white spaces so basically whenever we input the value we click submit it just removes um the commas the punctuations no symbols so we don't want that so what i want to do when create a new variable call it process str and call it whatever you want i'm going to make that equal to text input dot value dot replace inside here and what you want is that you want forward slash and then the square brackets inside the square bracket put the backslash w capital underscore and then four g and then comma and then just double quotes or it could also be single quotes so that basically all it's just to keep it simple basically all it's saying is that if there's punctuations white spaces whatever just remove them or replace them with nothing basically leave them blank and then we want to do that to lowercase that way it's lowercase because sometimes um you know if we don't do this then it's going to be case sensitive so let's say like maybe like the first word it's it's probably a palindrome but the first word is capital but the last one is common and you're going to give an error so let's put it to lowercase semicolon all right next we want to add a value now let this palindrome equal to true and you want to see why we need that in a second so now i want to create the logic for it i'm going to create the logic for the plane jump checker now so what we want to do essentially is that we want to run a loop what you want this loop to do is essentially go through each little in the string one by one but what it's going to do is that it's going to divide it by two right so it's going to basically split it in two and then when it runs it's going to check the first letter and the last letters and then it's basically going to like i don't know like one by one just check each letter until it reaches like the middle letter if that makes sense so like if we have mom what it's going to do is that it's going to when you run the function it's going to check this first m that first m check if it's equal if it's so then it's going to go on to the next letter which means this, if that's equal, <coughs> then it's a pulling drum. Same thing with like race car. It's gonna check the first, the first and last letter, and the second and uh, whatever, the second to last letter, the third letter, the third to last, and then once it reaches the middle, then yeah, all that works is we have a for loop, and then let i equal zero. Then I want i to be less math.floor process str dot length. That's very important. Divided by two. Math.floor essentially rounds it down. So if the length is if the length is eight, I'm going to divide it by two to make it four. So make sure that i is equal to four. Why? Because like I said, it's going to check um, both sides of the word or sentence so i have to divide it by two so semicolon i plus plus now i want to add if processed i i is basically the index so whatever is in the square bracket that's the index so if the index which is the first one by the way zero i equals zero so if the first letter or whatever letter it is as it loops is not equal to process str process str dot length 
minus one minus i. So why do we have this inside of the square brackets? Basically, let's say for instance, this is zero, right? So it's gonna check zero. And let's say the length of the string is three. That means say uh, three minus one is two, right? Because the length is three. So three minus one, that's two minus i, which is zero. So that means uh, it's going to check index two, which would be the last letter, because remember that in programming it's zero index. So the first letter would be index zero, it's going to be index one, etc. So what it would do is that it would always set the first letter and then compare it to the last one. That's why we have the logic minus one minus i. Hopefully you understand it because it's kind of complex. Now all we can do is that to say if process zero is not equal to that. What you do is that I'm gonna say is palindrome equal false and then break. Why break? Because if this is not equal, if the first letter not equal to the last letter or whatever, I want you just automatically just end the loop. I want is palindrome to be equal to false. Maybe I should show you an example of why we need that. But anyway. So once that's done, I wanna create a bit of logic now that says if is palindrome. So if is palindrome is true, then result, remember, you know, the div, the div with the idea of result dot oops inner html equal to text input dot value plus double quotes space is a column joke else result dot inner html equal text input dot value plus is not a a intro right and basically with that we're done we're basically done so if we were to pre preview it now if we click check it says please input a value okay but here's a glitch it says is a plane drum it shouldn't say anything because it's empty but anyway if we say mom check it doesn't say that all right let's see what the problem is a few moments later oh forgot this is supposed to be i that's why all right oh jesus it's dr that's why all right sorry about that all right mom if we check, there we go, it works. God, that's embarrassing. All right, so empty, check input value, but there's a glitch, it's supposed to be empty. So what we can do is that we can just say result.inner HTML equals to that, semicolon turn. So if we preview, to check there we go it's not there on m it's a plane drum if we delete that check okay okay so it's not gone i don't know why uh i'll fix that later so all right if we run the test there we go Passed. and in case you want the code, again, GitHub in the description to the repository. There it is, right there. And yeah, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. So yeah, with that being said, peace out.